Hey guys, Sonic Fan 180 here, and welcome to Sonic CD. So, why is the U.S. soundtrack on? There we go. So basically, what I'm going to be doing for this game, first off, you may have noticed I'm playing the 2011 version and not the original 1993 version, and that's because, well, I prefer the 2011 version. Um, and also, I don't have the 1993 version. So, yeah. But anyway, so what I'm going to be doing for this game is I'm going to be going through it twice, actually. First time, I'm going to be going through as Sonic with the Japanese soundtrack. And then the second time, I'm going to be going through as Tails with the U.S. soundtrack. So, yeah. So let's just get started here. Um, start game. A uh, new game. Player Sonic. Let's go. All oh, right, I forgot this is an instrumental. Well, I didn't the proper music. You can go again. Don't fall behind. Say don't be late. This nation heaven. Stay alive. That's you and me. We're gonna have fun. Say my song. Sonic Boy, 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 Nothing can survive, the will can stay alive If you try, you can do anything To the Sonic Warrior, always give a chance To the Sonic Warrior, never take a hand Nothing can survive, the will can stay alive If you try, you can do anything Also, interesting fact, that song is actually... Okay, really quick. Interesting little fact, that song is actually originally from the 8-bit version of Sonic 2, which I will be playing at some point. But yes, it was originally the music for Green Hills Zone. Not Green Hill Zone, Green Hills Zone. So yeah, it was the music for Green Hills Zone in the 8-bit version of Sonic 2. But anyways, let's just continue with this. Da, 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 da. So the whole point of this game, like the main plot of this game, is time travel. You're on this planet called Little Planet, and I just got hit. And basically what you have to do is you have to find... Where is it? There's one, like, really close to the beginning of the stage. I know that. Ah, here we go. There's two of them. You have to find these little things. Um, I think they're called time posts. I don't know. Anyway, so you have to find them, and basically when you touch them, this happens. Then you have to build up a bunch of speed, and you have to keep that speed in order to travel to the... Because see what I mean when I say you have to build up speed? I just lost my speed, and well... The reason you have to build up said speed is because, well, you need to go at a certain amount of speed to actually travel through time. And so the whole point of this is in each act, there's a roboticizer in the past that you have to destroy. So you have to go back into the past to destroy it, or else you'll get the bad future. But if you destroy it, then you'll get the good future. And I'm trying to go for the good ending in this game, so... Motherfucker. I need to find a good place to actually build up speed. Ah, right, here's a good place. Oh, also, 
I'd like to mention that, um, once I get to, once I get to playing around as Tails with the U.S. soundtrack, you're still gonna hear this music for the past version of Palm Tree Panic, because, uh, for some reason, the past music in both versions, uh, in both soundtracks is the same. It's like the same song in both versions. Which means it also contains little snippets of both um, songs. Here's the roboticizer. Now I've gotten a good future, but first I need to find uh, 15 more rings. Why, you may ask? Because, well, special stages. Now, there are no Chaos Emeralds in this game. There are actually three things called Time Stones. And you need to collect all seven of them to get the good ending. You can't become supersonic because, well, there's no chaos in this. Actually, I want to go back to the future. First, I need to find a good place to build up speed. Well, actually, no. First, I need to find a future post. The reason I want to go to the future is, well, for those of you who have... Oh! Right. Uh, I don't know if those have any impact on the good future or not, but, uh... Yeah, you might need to destroy those as well. well. The reason I want to go back to the, like, the present time is... That's apparently the one-up sound. Okay, now... Ooh, invincibility. Ah! <laughs> okay. I lost my invincibility. Are you serious? Well, there are no more enemies anyways. It's just, like, spikes and stuff. Checkpoint. This is why! Look who it is! Amy Rose! This is her debut game. Right here. Alright, see you later, Amy. <laughs> Look at the time! <laughs> that is completely unintentional. But... Okay, here we go. Special stage, number one. So, the whole object of the special stages is you need to destroy these UFO things. And you have a certain time limit. And if you touch the water, your time limit gets depleted a lot quicker. But once you get down to like 20 seconds left, there's this, there's one of these blue UFOs shows up, but the silver parts on it are red. And if you destroy that, you get more time. Aha! Also, another interesting fact for those of you who don't know much about the Sonic series. If you have heard of Sonic Mania, the guy developing Sonic Mania is the same guy that made this, the, like the 2011 version of Sonic CD. His name, is, his name is Christian Whitehead. He's an indie developer. And Sega, well, he used to be a, he was a former fan game developer until Sega hired him to make official Sonic games. And at first he just made a remastered version of Sonic CD, this. Um, and then also, he, and then also he and uh, Simon Tomley, AKA Stealth, created um, mobile remasters of Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. And now they're working on Sonic Mania. That's for those of you who didn't know that. A lot of you probably would have noticed. I'm, yeah, I probably... I don't even know what I'm trying to say. A lot of you probably did know that, but still. Ah! 
I'll worry about the rings later. Right now, I just need to worry about finding a place to build up speed. I'm also going to try and find the Metal Sonic thing. The last one I stumbled... Uh, wait! I think I found it. No, that's just a regular enemy. Never mind. But here's the Roboticizer up here. Now where's that Metal Sonic thing? What? Fuck. No, I don't want to go back to the future just yet. Here it is! Okay, now you can go back to the future if you want. I don't really care. I just wanted to... Did I just say back to the... <laughs> well, I mean, this game does have a lot of references to back to the future and the fact that there's the 88 miles per hour thing to travel through time. That's literally an achievement in this game, actually. Anyways... You probably won't get to see the bad futures, um, because, well, I try to go for the good ending, so. I might do a separate video altogether showing off all the bad futures, but, for both US and Japanese soundtrack, but. Come on! All that's left of these two. Don't add to the fucking water, Sonic! Here's the time one. It gives you like an extra, I think, 30 seconds. Fuck. There we go. And here we are in the good future version of Act 3. Because, yes, the Act 3s all take place in the future. Um, and in order to get a good future in Act 3, you actually have to destroy um, both roboticizers in the level. Both Act 1 and 2. Anyways, let's just get going to one of these stupidest bosses. I think that's the right word. fucking pink, and also you can destroy it just like that. <laughs> 